Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics, and got another video for you today. Today's video is digitally painting uh, some female eyes, and uh, I'm doing this one a little bit differently now where I'm actually going to try a few where I speed progress the video or time lapse it, and then I explain the process. So uh, that'll make them where they're not too awfully long because some of these videos have gotten pretty lengthy. So um, I'll go ahead and get started. What I'm doing here obviously is just sketching out the form filling out the shapes and uh, just kind of getting the placement of everything. Uh, it can be tricky uh, for me anyways with the uh, angular shot of the face like this. Uh, catching the rounded form and the uh, getting the eyes lined up just right can be a little bit of a trick. And definitely the little portion where you see up under the eyelid and you know you get that bit of depth so uh, that's why I draw it out a little bit more there. So now I uh, made a copy of the line work and I'm, I'm smudging it and starting to add some tonal value in that. Just using a chalk brush with no shape dynamics and transfer set to uh, pen pressure, both in opacity and flow jitter, I believe. Um, and I'm, I'm, I've been meaning to save my brush settings, but although I, I want to admit they're very basic. They are the ones that came with Photoshop and almost no uh, detail there. And you can pause in between the screen there. Uh, when I'm making adjustments to that and you can actually uh, take a look at that for yourself so so here I'm just adding some more uh, you know depth and tone and uh, you know I keep bouncing back and forth from dark to light and I'm just gonna you know um, keep working the form until I you know right now I'm trying I'm focusing on trying to get the eye to look rounded uh, then after I get that I'll try to make the eye look glossy and, and a bit wet you know um, so I'm just blending that, I'm adding some tone, I'm, I'm smudging around. Um, there I'm, I'm applying little tiny bits of texture, uh, which is important to do. You know, the more you do this stuff and you want to get some realism, uh, texture is a big part of it. Uh, and I'm not pulling out any other brushes to build that texture, I'm just drawing the texture in. So think about that in terms of when you're digitally painting something and you see somebody get a really good texture or whatever, don't think that you have to go to a brush for that. Uh, learn to draw that texture in, then blend it. Uh, and you can do that in a variety of ways. You can do that with the smudge tool like you see me doing there. Um, uh, you can also do it with uh, adding a layer, drawing the texture in, uh, doing a Gaussian blur or something to it, and then merging it down. So uh, here I'm adding some highlights and I'm going to try to start making the eye look a little bit more glossy and rounded and um, stuff like that. So you see I had the highlights even in the textured areas, uh, kind of size the brush up. There I just checked the work by putting the lines back on. Um, I size the brush up um, for big areas and passes and then I size it way down for texturing little tiny details. Um, the other thing that's great about, you know, if you notice I got the brush down to like, you know, I'm bouncing back in opacity but 30, 40 percent opacity and I'm building a lot of uh, textures by overlapping the strokes also. It's the way I do hair, the way I'm doing the eye right now or those little uh, details in the eye. That's what a lot of that is. It's just me scribbling back and forth in the direction of the texture of the eye um, to get that. Now here I added another layer and I'm drawing the eyelashes in in a separate layer. Um, reason being is I didn't feel as confident with the eyelashes. I always seem to I don't know, overdo these or I make them too thin and too perfect or, you know, not enough variance there. So I added another layer so that it allows me to edit and keep going back and forth until I get it right and then I'll merge it down. So that's the beauty of layers is they really give you that, that freedom to kind of uh, mess around and, and not, you know, feel like you're ruining your piece, which it's digital, it's not ruined. And the other is just copying and making um, uh, more layers of the same thing and you can kind of go back that way too so duplicate it as soon as you're getting ready to do something a little bit more you know risky or whatever um, so yeah just still adding little highlights and shadows here and there kind of I added that gray tone in the back just to you know give some resemblance of a skin tone and it helps me see the uh, the shape of the eyes a little bit better now I'm using a soft brush if you notice there and that was a Gaussian blur like I talked about to soften up the lines um, the eye is still looking a little too animated, but, you know, I tend to do that. I'm more of a comic book guy. So right there, if you see, I'm trying to soften up the, the dark lines. I'm actually going back through. I was going back through with a soft brush and a lighter tone to uh, tone down the, the black. 
And there I'm cheating like I like to do. You know, I just copied that bit of the eye and moved it over. And then now I'll spend some time blending it in and uh, start working on that eye since I feel like the one on the left got to a, a decent effect. And you see how I can just crop and grab pieces and move them around. That's one of the things I love about digital. Um, you know, there I'm flipping the artwork to try to point out any flaws. Um, for some reason, when you flip your artwork, uh, it tends to uh, bring the flaws out in your eye. So, uh, no, no pun intended, in your eye. But, um, so yeah, so just uh, still trying to finesse the uh, the shapes. Something was wasn't gelling right with me on that eye, and I, I ended up adding in a little bit more. Um, I think it was the the angle of it. It doesn't look. It, it's one thing I, I didn't do enough in this one. I didn't really capture the roundedness of the the eye with as far as the uh, pupil and the retina goes. Um, if I'm saying that right, but uh, they look too. They should have been more uh, squashed inward and looking like they're pointing to the uh, viewer's right. Instead, they they look like they're more on the front of the eye. So it's just something I'm noticing as as we're going through this. Um, so there I'm trying to blend down some of the texture because you want to apply that texture but you don't want it to be overly in your face. Um, uh, it, can, it can get overdone real easily just like the uh, adding too much you know blacks and whites in the, uh, the digital painting. That's another thing you can overdo real easily and instead of getting a nice um, digital paint effect you'll actually get more of an animated look. Here I'm trying to do the reflection of the eyelashes and the glare of the eye and then trying to soften up the intensity of that uh, white on the side of the eye. So I'm just blending in some more white and you know and here I'm trying to fix the eyelashes. Now I did already merge them down because I didn't mind the shape of them so much uh, but the the uh, way that they need to come out and uh, kind of all head in different directions and overlap to make them look more realistic I keep adding to that. So, so you see I just pinball you know, all over the place, really, and just keep trying to find flaws in it and look at it. And, all right, what can I change? What can I make better? Um, and that's really all this is. This is a study of the eye and, you know, a practice piece and obviously a video for you guys to, to talk about the uh, the way that I create this stuff. Uh, and just so you know there, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I actually have a smudge tool there with a hard brush. And all it does is allows you to grab the color and pull it almost like you're drawing. So play with that too, that's a fun thing to do. Uh, it tends to look a little bit more uh, hard edged, but that's the point. And you can pull the color and the tone where you want it and then come back and blend and repaint. You see I erased part of the, the skin tone there to further build the shape of the face. Um, the eye is still looking pretty crazy, especially without the eyelashes there, but uh, just trying to fix that. Now one thing I wanna point out here too is the eyebrow to the, the character's left eye is too far over. One of the things I noticed when studying um, the, uh, the relationship from the eyebrow to the eye and the nose is it always starts past the nose from this angle. So I think I blend that out here in a minute, but keep that in mind. Uh, the other thing that was real tough to capture, and I, I think I still should have did a better job with it, was from this angle. The white of the eye almost becomes the very edge of the face, and it's kind of tricky to do. Um, but just another, you know, all these little things I just try to make mental notes of so that next time I draw it, get a little bit closer, a little bit better, and keep trying to improve upon, you know, what I'm doing here. So now I'm using a soft brush to kind of soft up the, uh, soften up the highlights and even the perimeter of the uh, skin tone I had there. Uh, now I'm going to start applying some color. Now all I did is add, uh, turn my brush to color mode, and I made a copy of the uh, eyes so I, I could, you know, draw without any worry of messing something up and I'm just painting in with color mode right now um, it tends to look very uh, saturated at first and then I try to tone it down um, and I know a lot of people just go straight to paint with color so they probably look at this like it's counterproductive but just the way that I've been taught how to do it and I you know I still enjoy it I, I like doing it the other way too but um, a lot of times I like just painting in black and white uh, it's one of my things that I'm more you know into but um, I figured for the purpose of this I would show you the way I color and you know what I'll also do is I'll turn it back to normal mode like I did there and I'll paint over top with normal mode and then I'll add some other layers um, still you know not the greatest colorist you know um, 
and I'm noticing I needed to soften up those uh, highlights a lot more. Um, but I think I'm, yeah, I'm starting to blend them down a little bit right there. Uh, I'm still trying to... Okay, and I'm adding a little bit more highlights, so I'm still kind of dinking with the overall look of it. And still erasing out some of the shape there. Adding some final highlights. So yeah, pretty much coming to the end of it. I, I do a little bit more touching up here and there. So at any rate, hopefully you liked this video and the way that I tried to produce this one. Let me know if you did and, and what you liked about it, what you didn't. And if you got any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, be sure to check out the Blackstone Eternal comic on Indie Planet. And, uh, you know, like and subscribe and please share the videos so I can keep bringing them to you. So thanks very much for watching. Keep drawing. Keep having fun. And this is Robert Ram signing out.